have to wear it or not. <laughs> oh my word. I'm trying to get the hand. I'm ready for this. Get in on the raffle! Exclamation point raffle! Oh my goodness, nine inches of snow! I don't want snow! No snow! <laughs> no, snow is too early for snow. We're ready to start here. 30 seconds! Places, everyone! Places! I know, I'm silly. That's why you watch me. <laughs> Hi. Yay, Marilyn. Margie wants some jump buffs. Alright. Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. And if you didn't know, I am Linda Israel and we are live on Monday, October the 19th at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, but if you're watching this as a replay, you know you can go just below, click on the little gear down here, and you can change the playback speed if you're on a mobile device. Look up in the corner here for the three little dots. It's kind of like the three little pigs, but it's the three little dots, and you can change the playback speed and get through it faster. And please, you know, if you're watching this as a replay, and of course, if you're watching this live, I love love to have your feedback on comments below that kind of tells me you know are you watching are you liking what you're seeing if you have questions you know I'm open to, to have some uh, good feedback from you okay hey <clears throat> let's see um, welcome thanks for being here Robin is my right-hand woman she's in one of the admins of the friendly junk journal people you'll see others in the chat which would be Diane as well I was trying to see who else was here uh, as an admin of the friendly junk journal people and we have almost 21,000 members hey if y'all haven't joined the friendly junk journal people Facebook group please do if you like what we're doing here there are so many members that share tons of tutorials inspirations they have swaps in the group we just finished what we call a wishing well this past weekend where members can wish for a small item not a full junk journal but a small item and then they could have that wish granted and they in turn would grant someone else's wish so it's really quite a fun way to get to know some of the members of the group so check it out uh it's official yeah i'm here <laughs> um hey i give you all junk bucks if you haven't seen everybody's entering the raffle and that's exclamation point r-a-f-f-l-e doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase just has to have the exclamation point and all of those letters lined up together and i do that because i'm trying to figure out a way to give back to those of you that are able to watch live oh thank you margie for your donation thank you thank you thank you you can um watch and earn junk bucks and right now i'm giving away 200 junk bucks we'll collect a few minutes here and then we will give that away and you can accumulate these junk bucks. You can type exclamation point bucks and you will know how many that you have. And then if you have 2000, you can redeem those with an award for a $10 off coupon. I think I owe a couple of coupons. I'll get those out probably tomorrow. And you'll get a $10 off coupon to my shop. So that's a way for you to pick up some things that I might show here and get a little bit of a discount right off the bat, especially if you're new at this. And I have a quick, uh, keep this, you know, chat friendly, upbeat, helpful. If you have questions, put them in all caps. I'll do my best to answer those questions. If I don't see it, ask again. If you know the answer to someone else's question, please feel free to share. You won't be able to share your links unless you're administrator, but you can describe or say something about uh, the question that they have. Also, hey, y'all that, uh, hey, Hen Henry's here. My husband's in here. And hi, Ashley. That's my daughter. <laughs> um, if uh, you have a YouTube channel and 
you uh, share here, you're here today, let us know in the chat that you have a YouTube channel and what you do on that channel. Thank you, Karen, for your donation. Thank you, Diane, for your donation as well. Uh, what else? People are making donations. Thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. I really appreciate the support and the way y'all are always here and supportive. If you can't donate, I understand. Um, if you do donate, the journal that I'm making today, not this pictures that I have in front of me, but the, the journal I'm making today, I will raffle off the end to those who have donated. But guess what? Bonus y'all today and only today, well, unless I get another journal, um, I'm giving away a journal will be our next to the last um, giveaway at the end. Pardon me just a moment. My nose is trying to run away. I had to catch it <laughs> at the end. And I will be giving away a journal that I've made. Barb Dingwell won a couple of weeks ago and she had already just won, like, I think maybe two weeks prior to that. And she felt bad. And I said, don't feel bad. You earned it. You come, you donate, you support me. That's why I have these raffles to give them away to those loyal people that really support me all the time. And she's like, okay, no, you keep it and give it away. So I thought that's what we will do. We'll have a free raffle at the end where you can win one of the journals that I've made here recently. Okay. Uh, what else? If you do donate, do you know that you can go over to my website, lindaisrael.com, create a user account, and then send me a message that says, Hey, Linda, I'm so-and-so on YouTube, because some of you have different names than on YouTube than you do in real life. So we've got to connect the two. <laughs> and I can add you to the YouTube donator membership on my website. And what that does is allows you to get the free digital downloads that I offer there, as well as a discount on any of your orders from me. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I want to quickly show y'all. Hey, thank you, Nadine, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have been working with Norella, and Norella has finished almost all of the artwork. She's still working on it. I am working on the physical portion of it, the kits. I got my Tattered Angels ordered, and I've designed the stencils. Now I got to get the stencils cut so that I can get the kits put together. But this is for a Christmas dream. This is a creative junk journal box. It's a subscription box that starts next Monday is when I'll have it listed in my shop. Not before that, next Monday. And right now it still shows the punked out Steve because I'm still waiting on the artwork to put it up. <laughs> and it is a traditional Christmas junk journal kit. So you're going to have the reds, the greens, the golds that are beautiful in there. And we've chose to use animals as opposed to Santa Claus. And uh, that way, it's still a generic kit. Some people do not like people that they don't know in their journals. And we thought the animals were the way to do it. On the cover here that Norella made, this will be printed on 100 pounds cardstock, be laser printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that you can fold in half. And the cover, this image that you see in the background, I hand drew that. That was a stencil design that I created, and I thought it looked like little Christmas trees, but then it also looked like a snowflake. And I love how Norella used this with the digital art. This it is again on the inside. And then this is one of four two-sided pages. The journal kit comes unbound so that you can put it together. You also get a ton of ephemera, book pages, You'll get some little pieces of papers that you can use for journal cards and tuck spots. You'll get some sequins. You'll get some beads and charms, all kinds of stuff. This is just the paper part of it. So this is one page. I love how she put the lace on here. It looks so real. Yeah, animals are awesome, aren't they, Margie? This is the back side. Here's another page. Oh, thank you, Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate your support, Robin. And then this side, so here's the another bird. I love the uh, design that Norella has chose. And it makes me want to come in and take the time, because I don't always do that, and fill in with some 
Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint to make this all sparkly. That's, that's something I'm planning to do. And then here is this page. And this page. To use an old, uh, like a, probably like a Sears catalog type thing. Hey, thank you, Linda, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and this is another stencil design that I created that, again, it looks like snowflakes, but there's also Christmas trees in there. I was having fun with that. You loving this kit, Rhonda? Yay! Thank you. Oh, hey, Barb. Thank you. I was just talking about you. I'll be giving away the journal that you uh, gave back to me. You like it, Ashley? Thank you. So here is one of the four fussy cut pages. So you get like a corner and you get these little pieces that you can use as embellishments and tags and a ticket and even some flowers you can fussy cut. Here's some more flowers. Has Christmas and mistletoe um, definitions. And then I want to show you this page next. So you get the famous word search. I love the birds that she chose. The uh, big kit, which I haven't printed yet, has um, a lot more animals in it. And then she's included a, what do you call these, her small ephemera pack, all numbers. So we have the numbers of the month for um, December that you can use. So if you want to make an advent journal, we put it all on one page like this. And I thought that was what I wanted to show y'all. Hope you like it. And I'm really excited about this kit and being able to work with it. It's just going to be a lot of fun. So I'll be working on that next Monday is when I will share a Christmas dream. All right. Partridge. Uh, no, that was, I think it was a, uh, like a parakeet type or a finch. That's a finch. And there's another, like a finch or something. It could be a parakeet even. It's a pretty kit. I'm really liking what she's done. And I love how she used my hand-drawn stencil designs. All right, so today I thought we would kind of do a little bit more mixed media stuff. And give me a drink of water. I don't hardly, you know, go ahead and get out the paint and make a journal page with it, as well as the Tattered Angels and whatnot. So we're only going to make about probably two, maybe three journal pages live because I really want to concentrate on one of them. We're going to do a lot of different techniques just on one page. But we're going to start with a composition notebook. I'm going to bear with me while I see if I can fix our camera. It was given a, a bad image. <clears throat> Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Yeah, it's not bright red. It's a vintage red. Yeah. So I've got a composition notebook page that I have trimmed down to be an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And stark white is nice. I have another page that I am gonna use that's a coloring book, but I still don't want this to be bright white. So what I'm gonna do is grab, I have a few of these left. This is from Dazzling Daydream. This was a junk journal kit that Nor Norella puts together the digital, which is Daydream. I think it's daydreaming maybe and I had a tattered angels specifically matched to go with the kit as well as I made a stencil and made up a whole bunch of ephemera and whatnot that could go together now this is a really pale purple with a beautiful shimmer on it so it will knock back that stark white of the page I probably used more than I needed to, but I really like the way this shimmers. Yes, Tattered Angels will at first kind of come off on your hands, but once you've kind of handled it just a little bit, it will stop doing that. So it's not like it keeps doing it forever. All right, so I'm just going to spray both sides and then use my heat tool to try it and see if I can read anybody's questions in the chat. <laughs> I hope you feel better. Barb, please take care of yourself. Partridge in a pear tree, something like that. Everybody's playing the FFA now. 
get in on the boss fight join the raffle if you haven't already join the raffle all right so I'm just drying this I'm drying it in my box because my mat that I have under here is plastic and I don't want my heat tool bubbling it up <laughs> Can y'all see that shimmer that's on this page? It's so pretty. And it's just a pale, pale, pale. It's not even quite lavender, really, but it's an iridescent color. And it gives that paper that nice crinkly sound. All right, I think it's probably good enough. I just need it dry enough that the um, tattered angels isn't sopping wet and I think I've got one side pretty dry that I can work on it I'm just grabbing a piece of paper that I can use underneath because I know then that the ink I'm going to use won't transfer and smear if I use the um, mixed medium mat it goes right on that mat and you have to make sure to wipe it off or it's all over your page so I'm gonna do some stenciling today and I don't necessarily want to stencil the whole thing, but I do want some. So most of the pages that I have today, I've uh, left done them in like a blues or, yeah, I think mostly blues, maybe some teal. What do I got here? I'll just kind of, and purple. I did some purple. I got a little bit of pink in here. There's some teal there. What do we have here? Is this a kind of got some pink? So yeah, let's do um, let's do this pink and maybe this lavender. I've got the distress oxide inks. Oh, this is shaded lilac. We're gonna use that. All right, so just gonna lay this over. I think I will washi tape it into place. I wasn't going to because I thought I would only do a portion of it. But now I've changed my mind that I'm going to do more than I think. So make that a little bit easier so I don't have to really hold it down. Okay. All right. So I'm using a blending brush and I'm using from the September Stencil Club. I don't know what this, what I call this one, kind of a flower design. And I'm just going to pick random areas, not necessarily the whole stencil. I just want a hint of design kind of peeking through it, it reminds me a lot of the way that Norella you know has those faded in and out backgrounds in her digital art well I like kind of creating that in physical art as well All right, so I've put some of that lilac down and I'm going to pick up the picked raspberry and kind of go in between. I don't want it real dark. I just want it somewhat, just, just a hint of design on here. Okay. So now I'll just peel up the washi tape and then let's take a look see how faint that is it's just real subtle I love I love this effect <laughs> I, I don't know why but I really just love how it's just barely on there it's just got a beautiful color to it all right we're gonna turn this over and do it on the other side because I'm using the distress oxide and I'm not getting it wet again it won't bleed through really because I'm not being real heavy handed and I want the pattern on both sides. All right. So I'm gonna pick up the shaded lilac again and then come in here. Hey Sam, welcome. Well, what'd you think of that? You like it? Lovely, thank you. And what I like about it is I can choose any color combination. I can use the same stencil over and over and over if I want, but choose different color combinations. You're going to get a different look each time. 
you can mix stencils. I could have picked this up and then come back with a different stencil design to blend it together. All right. Push that buck out of the way. And you always get your fingers nice and inky so you know you've done something. <laughs> I am or have ordered some more Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. We're going to start carrying craft uh, stints, uh, Tattered Angels in my shop. All right, what do you think? That's kind of pretty, isn't it? All right, so now what I want to do is I'm looking at this and trying to decide... What do I want to add to this? So you can take your notebook paper, your composition notebook paper. Maybe you had some old um, ledger paper. Same concept. You just probably have lines going a different way. Find those plain papers that maybe are old and hadn't been used. Thank you, Kathy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Robin, Nadine, Karen, Diane, and Margie. Thank you all for your donation. You know, so so just because I'm showing you the composition notebook, think of all the other papers that you have that you can use like this. In fact, you know, I've got a piece of scrapbook paper here. If you've got some somewhat ugly scrapbook paper, well, what it's got two sides. Do something with the other side. Paint on the other side. So think like that, okay? All right, so I think I want to stamp around the edge. I've got some sayings and some things that I pulled out and I think maybe I will come in here with this little vine and I want to do it because I haven't done it on other pages today I want to do it in the sage so this is bundled sage and we're going to stamp this oh yeah I like that and that look pretty we're just kind of adding a little bit more texture around the page And this, this kind of technique, you know, you can keep adding the layers in inking of some fashion or another. Oops. You know, by stamping, by using the stencil, by layering with the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. You know, we've just put, what is that, three mediums on here now. And we're keeping our page relatively thin and lightweight so we're not adding too much bulk I know a lot of people ask me you know how do you decide how much to put in your journal it's it's all a personal preference um, I prefer journals that are somewhat flat they're easier for me to write upon them if they're flat so if I can make all of these embellishments on a page using tools that help me keep that page rather smooth to write on I'll do that now I'm also going to show y'all some techniques where we layer papers and paint to make a beautiful really mixed media page all right so we got that we get rid of the bundle stage Let's clean the stamp. Oh, Walmart had them for 15 cents. That's a great buy. It's been a while. I think the cheapest I found one year was, I may have been at Walmart, and they were like 20 cents, 20 or 25 cents. I got a bunch of them. Love the shade. Hey, Valerie. Thank you. All scrapbook paper's two side. It's just that some of it is white on one side. You got it, Margie. <laughs> it's two sided. There's two sides to every sheet of paper, y'all. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so now what? I'm looking at it. Oh, you know, I know I want to put this saying on here, and I've got another one. Uh, thank you, Rhonda Bennett. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've also have uh, on, this is one of the, I think it's the Daisy rubber stamp by Beeline Designs. 
And then here we have the saying. Oh, I think I want to switch this. I want it over here and this one over here. And this is every artist writes his own autobiography. And this one says mistakes are part of the dues one pay for a full life. You like that? And why is my video messing up now, man? I kind of like that. I think, I think we're good there. I was thinking about adding maybe one more thing. I've got a butterfly with a stamp and black ink. Oh, thank you, Barb, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, use the white sign to stamp. And you, yeah, because the rest of it's covered up. You like the colors? Thank you, Julie. All right, so... I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this down and put this in here. I'm just using Aline's tacky glue. So this image in my hand right now is the Beach Rose Medium. I stamped it on ivory cardstock. I colored it in using a paintbrush and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So I would just take my paintbrush and dip it into the Tattered Angels. And I painted the flowers. I put Distress Ink around the edges. And then I used Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint. Ah, come on. Spin around. Um, tulip dimensional glitter paint that I can get for $3.99 for a huge four ounce bottle or I can buy stickles and those other brands for four dollars for a little bitty one <laughs> thank you Laura for your donation all right and then I uh just fussy cut it out and just glued it down all right I think this will be good thank you thank you thank you all right let's put it Right about there. What do you think? Should I put the butterfly up here? I could stamp it. Let me stamp it on there so you get a good idea of what it looks like while I glue down. So if we kind of use, that's what it would look like if I put it right in here. I think I want to do that. Oh, thank you, Connie, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we've put down some tattered angels glimmer mist we did some distress oxide through a stencil and if you wanted to make this blurry you could spray this with say dazzling diamonds and that will make these bleed onto the page the more you put down the more it's going to bleed if you like that look if you really want a distressed really old like the pages have been wet look that would be perfect all right so i'm gonna make sure that i'm staying within my page here okay oh i'm sorry Lori. try the super chat or try the um uh stream lab sometimes it just gets cranky i think i'm going to stamp the butterfly up there I was waiting somebody to tell me that they saw that. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right, it's time for the raffle. All right, I'm we'll gonna put one right there. And we're gonna put one right there. Yeah, okay, y'all enter the raffle. All right, so I did that side. I already stamped this side. I'm trying to decide if I've got no, I got those. I think I like the butterflies better. I do have a little piece of canvas that we could put down. You know, I think I want to do that. Where's my little scissors? Ah, don't be falling down now. So I'm just going to come in here and kind of rip this pull these away. Did y'all see my tutorial? for the pop-up card last week and what else i've got uh for the little um what else did i make i forgot <laughs> oh yeah the little folded journal thing 
You like the thing you posted this morning? Yeah. It was a layer process. Love those squirrels. All right. <laughs> All right, I think that's what I want, is I want to do those. Yeah. I think we need to add some color to that edge. So, let's do this. Because then I can, let me spray those just a little bit. What color? I think a pink. I think we need a pink. How about from the Christmas cherry tatter? Oh, you got it, Lori. Thank you for your donation. Thank you. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, Giovanni, you like that pop-up card? Oh, I'm trying to get my fabric out. I had a little piece laying here. So I'm going to spray this. I'm trying to spray this, but I think I'm out. But I'm going to do, I'll cheat. We'll just use a paintbrush and I'm just going to go right along this edge. We'll do this and then I will, um, we'll do the drawing and I'll show y'all the first prize that I'll get given away. Sometimes when you're spraying and you're doing fabric, you don't want a spotted look. So, and I don't need to do the whole thing because I'm going to put the butterfly on there. So I'm kind of just making a frame first and seeing how I like it. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and do the middle. Just a little bit, and then I can let this dry. Okay, put that in there, put the lid back on. Put this over here. All right. For 200 junk bucks, the winner is. Oh, you got it too? You like that? Uh, and, and altered it to Halloween pocket? Awesome. You like the splatters? No, the splatters are good too. I want this a little bit more solid. All right, so we're going to pick a winner for 200 junk bucks, and that winner is... I feel like my camera's not quite right. <laughs> that winner is... Rhonda! Rhonda! You have won 200 junk bucks. All right, so speaking of the pop-up cards, here's what I've got. I made a prototype to show Norella what I wanted her to make. So this is my prototype. I'll sign it. That's my prototype. I was like, all right, Norella, you need to make a pop-up card kit. And here is an example. And she's like, oh, okay. She asked me some questions and then she came up with her own. So here's my original and it has a little pocket with some goodies in there. Okay. You're very welcome, Rhonda. Rubber stamped on there. Use some of Norella's various kits. And then this is one that I made from her kit once she, the first time, so that I could see how it was going to work. And I just used only pretty much what was in the kit in here. I even uh, put a leaf on the back. I think I used all of the kit on here. And then this is the video that I did last week. So we're going to give this away. I'll pick three winners here in a little bit. So y'all, as soon as I put this up here, um, these are autumn pop up cards. So y'all enter the raffle by typing exclamation point raffle and I'll be giving away all three of these. So we'll pick three winners. Okay. So that we can let that gel for a little bit. Okay, Robin. All right. So 
And this has had a little bit of a chance to dry. Not a lot. It's still damp. I touched it. And I got some on my fingers. So I'm just going to dry it a little bit. Yeah, we got Rhonda the Crafted Blind Girl. The other Rhonda. <laughs> I know, see, and I have to think about it when y'all contact me. Okay, which Rhonda am I speaking to? <laughs> uh, I don't want to get this wrong. I got to get the right Rhonda. All right, so I'm just kind of turning it over so it'll be flatter. I think I like this. It's still a little damp. But I think I can move on. All right. All right, so I know that I want to put this on the page with this over it. I kind of like that. Um, what if I think I want to sew, but I don't want to sew it to my page. I just want the stitches around the outside. So we're going to do the um, sewing cam lamp. Yeah, a crafty blind girl. Yeah, I got to say the difference. Rhonda from Missouri or crafty blind girl. All right, so let's go over here to the sewing cam. Hopefully I didn't knock my camera out. I've already got it set to do a zigzag stitch. I have an electronic machine, so I set it to two and two, which makes it a little bit narrow of a zigzag, but you can definitely see the zigzag. That's why I chose it. I use regular cotton thread. I have a regular needle, and then, of course, um, just sew with a regular foot. All I'm going to do is come in here and zigzag stitch right around this outside edge. My fingers are going to be pink. It works better if you have a bigger piece of fabric. <laughs> you have to kind of help feed it through a little bit. It's still a little damp, but I'm able to make it work. All right. So for those of you that like that look of stitches, you can just stitch all the way around. All right, let's do that one more time. Bah, bah. Yeah, I think I like that. Just kind of gives it a little frame. So how was everybody's weekend? Well, I'm staying busy, that's for sure. Trying to get everything ready for the subscription box. Working to get stuff ready for today. Working for Henry. All right. Got both of them. Love that lamb. Thank you, Lou. That was made by Giovanna. I had uh, challenged everybody to send Christmas ornaments, and she handmade this, if I understand correctly. And I just love it because it's the rainbow sheep that when y'all donate. So I love it. <laughs> I have to make sure Hercules doesn't get it. All right, so I like that. And I think I like that. Just a little bit of texture there. So we're going to glue these together. I'm going to glue down the fabric first. And just making a little line all the way around. And a little zigzag in the middle. Put it down. I got an acrylic block, so we'll just lay that on there a second. Let's do the other one. Kind of go around the outside, make a little zigzag. Let's put that over here. 
And I got another block. Okay. It'll dry pretty quick. It'll still be wet. Is that cool? You like that? And then just put that right there. So we're adding a little bit of texture again, but we didn't have to go with a whole bunch of layers of paper. We just have one little bit of fabric and another paper. All right, I'm going to leave my blocks on there. Let's look for some words to put on there or something. Like we've got uh, Rose Avenue. And what is this? Not Romans. Is this a word? Sparkling. We have sparkling. You know what? I've got I've got some more of these stamps. Let's look at the stamps. I think that's what I'm gonna do is the stamps. Alright, so put this up here. Hmm. How about uh, Beauty is Soul Deep? That would be a good one, wouldn't it? All right. So I'm going to take this and stamp it. I've got a piece of ivory text weight paper that I ripped around the edges so that when I stamped a saying, I could just tear it out. I need more page. Oh, yes. Thank you. Texture, but flat. I also like flat. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put this right here. Yeah. Beauty is soul deep. That'll be a good one. And then, ah, how about let your spirit soar? That'll be another one. So I'll put it on this edge. And that way, even if you stamp it crooked, it doesn't matter because you're going to rip it out. <laughs> so you can kind of fudge when there's a little issue like that. Put this out of the way for a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to rip. So you see, I was trying to do some different things, y'all. So that you get some other ideas about layering, but not going too crazy with the layers. So that's really thin paper. It's, it's text weight paper. If you like your coffee dye, tea dye papers, that would be really good. You can also, you know, white out some text uh, book page and stamp on top i should have done that all right so we got beauty is sold deep so this is how big that would be and i'm thinking that maybe i don't like it right there i think i like it down here I think that's what I'm going to do is put it down on the bottom, kind of opposite corners. Like that. Okay, let's put this over here. Oh, see you later, Crafty Blind Girl. All right, we'll put this one right here. All right, so there's a journal page. Let me get the color to adjust. So you would come to this page first, and then you would see this page, and then you would see that page, and then you would see that page. So you can see how that came together using the same pattern, but doing a different technique on the pages. The paper was a text weight copy paper, Valerie. Text weight copy paper. All right, let's put that over here. All right, so I have a plan, sorta. We're gonna try this, see how it goes. Like I think I have plenty of time. 
And I have another project if we get this one completed and have lots of time left over. I have one more page. So I wanted to make this one second because I knew it was going to take a little bit longer. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Giselle. The stencil was from the September Stencil Club. I don't know if I have it. Yes. It's from the September 2020 Stencil Club. You get this stencil, this pattern, and then these two patterns on one, it's split in the middle. So that's what that is from. What else do we have here? Ooh. Let's, uh, I think I have another stencil I want to use. Maybe. This is also from the September Stencil Club. All right, so I got those out in case, in case we got inspired to use them because I really didn't plan this page other than the idea of what I wanted to do. So I grabbed a few supplies and poked them into a Ziploc baggie. I thought today you might like kind of the thought process of how to put the page together because I know a lot of you, you know, you're, you're wondering how do you come to the idea. Some of that is just playing with supplies to get the idea. So here's what we're going to do. I'm getting my little mixed media mat out. Okay. And I've got a few things here. So I'll show you what I have in here and then I'll kind of show you my thought process. So let's go this way. So in case I want to use it, this is from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. When we reached 20,000 members, Norella made a kit that was free for our members and it features elements that I have done. So my watercolor pages that I made out of Tattered Angels are part of the background. She used the images that I hand painted for the Radiant Red, Outrageous Orange, as well as the Youthful Yellow kit. And I thought, well, who knows? I might use that. I've got a Bible page that I took every acrylic paint and just scraped it over and let that dry. And I've got another here. I didn't know I may use it. I've got a double thickness Bible page. So I just glued two together. That way, if I needed to make a pocket or a little bit thicker uh, foundation for an element, I have it right here. I've got two more Bible pages here that I'm going to use as my base. Thank you so much, Valerie and Janice, for your donation. Thank you so very much. So here I've got part of a piece of sheet music that was left over from a project. And then I have a couple of mop-up papers. And I didn't do one today, but I think most of y'all know how I do those, which is I spray Tattered Angels through the stencil and then mop up. So I have a couple of those here as well. And then I've got some gel, or these were papers that I spray with Tattered Angels, and I've got some that are parts of a gel print in here. I've got a little journal card that I made that I thought would kind of help with the theme, if you will. And then this was a foundation of a flip out page that I think I want to use. I just started it, so we're going to go over what that is. And then I've got other little elements here. I've got a scrap of cardstock. Looks like I've got an envelope that I can use, some journal cards, and then here is a piece that I know I want to use pretty soon. So I'm going to put these aside for just a moment. Then we're going to go over these elements. All right, so I've got two book pages that are bigger than necessary. But I wanted to use book pages as my foundation to just show that even if you don't have a book page as big as what I use, 
you can glue them together because I haven't really shown this very often. Okay, just glue it together. That's just that simple. And then you've got this piece. Okay, for some reason, my little spinny tray doesn't want to spinny. All right, now, uh, you can make as big as, as you need, okay? So I want to alter the color of this foundation. You kind of saw the elements. I've got a variety. It looks like I've got pinks and blues and teals. So I thought what I would do is I've got a lavender paint here or hyacinth color is I would take this and we're just going to put a little bit on this foundation paper. And I've got a little bit of a vivid pink here. So we're going to start with move out of the way. My goal is to kind of cover up the text on the paper so it's not quite so stark that you can see that and by layering like this i could if i get a nice coverage right in the paint you just need a good pen a gel pen a uh, felt tipped type pen like the uh, no bleed by sharpie and you can write on this painted page so i'm putting down a little bit of that purple i like it and i've got that pink paint out i may want so i'm going to just hit it with my heat tool real fast and i'm going to flip it over and do the other side love the color thank you Thank you, Julie. Thank you. It is a beautiful color, isn't it? I've got the Ranger Ink Heat It tool, which apparently I haven't been able to find a source for them anymore. So I don't know if they've stopped selling them or because of COVID they've been able to get them. Oh, thank you, Robin. Uh, that link goes to Amazon. So, by the way, any link that Robin shares, yes, it does go or benefit me if you purchase from that link. And I th appreciate that. If you're going to buy something anyway, if you will use my link, I greatly appreciate that support. I right, just have one little spot. It usually doesn't take very long to dry doing it this method because you're going so thin. All right, I'm just going to flip it over and put the same color on the other side. All right. Paint. All right, we're going to spread this and get this a moment to dry. And I'll kind of explain what we're going to do next. So... I'm putting down a layer of acrylic paint with like a gift card. And I have a little bit of paint left. So I'm going to grab. Let's see what I have here. Here we go. Just grabbing another piece of paper. So I can smear some paint around. All right, let's lift this. Yep, oh, a little string, and so it was making marks. All right, so that's going, I'm going to set this aside a second and use what paint I have left. Who knows, I may want this to uh, make a journal card or something. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside and let it, it it'll air dry. All right, and I'll wipe off my uh, car just a little bit. 
with a paper towel and stick it back in my drawer. All right, we're letting this dry. Okay, so. Oh, good. I can use that. So here's here's some of my idea, okay? What we're going to do is I'm going to trim this page and make it be an 8.5 by 11 junk journal page. It may have enough room for a small flip out on one side, and then I made a secondary flip out that I thought we could adhere on here. So we've got this really pretty purple, and then we'll kind of contrast it with this piece over here. So that's one element that I want to put on this journal page. And basically that was a piece of uh, book page that I just pasted down a whole bunch of elements and I'll show you what those look like in a moment. So then another element that I just got this idea just as the live stream was about to start of what if I had a belly band that is attached to the page in such a manner that you can flip it up out of the way and then you have the journal page down below that you can use okay what if so i'm going to put on one of these pages this little flip out so we can have a belly band that floats up <laughs> i don't know that was my idea so i'm going to dry this really fast do y'all have any questions all right so what we're going to do next is I'm gonna grab a couple more colors of tattered or of paint here because I want to put a stencil pattern on this painted page before I start adding the other elements on top of it. Oh thank you Rhonda Bennett. She's just started a YouTube channel. Use the stencils and stamps too. Yeah, oh, you've been using the stencils and stamps you've been getting for me. And I have an affiliates program. I need to go back in. <laughs> You're sitting here mesmerized. Okay. <laughs> well, does my, my plan sound crazy? Do you think it'll be a good good idea? Thank you, Vicki. All right, I think it's dry enough for me to continue on. All right, I know that I'll end up trimming this a little bit. So this will be my upper portion, if you will. This will be the bottom portion down here. I will keep it in what I call um, uh, portrait mode, okay? Mesmerized, why I quit trying to do any crafting while I watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord you're funny why are you always late Valerie I don't know girl set your time on your alarm <laughs> all right so I'm going to use one of the stencils from the stencil club from September and we've got a variety of color we've got pinks I think I want the pink I wasn't sure but I think I want the pink so I'm gonna get my little tray I've just got a little tray here that I'll put some paint in because I want to daub through the stencil, okay? And I'm just using the same blending tool that we use for the Distress Inks. This is from the Ranger Ink. It has a little foam dauber. Well, I found that I can take this little dauber and ink it up with acrylic paint and then come in here and pounce a pattern on the journal page. I'll just go ahead and kind of come down. So I'm just adding a little pattern on there. It's real subtle. Okay. We'll go over here. Okay, 
and I'm gonna dry that real fast and flip it over. <laughs> I'm always early. That's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, set an alarm clock. <laughs> See how that's coming together? All right, we're going to flip it. Flip it. But wait, we're not done yet. So I'm going to put some paint on this side. And I've just got inspired. I'm going to add some Tattered Angels. I mean, we're going all out on this mixed media, y'all. <laughs> I'm not just using one medium. <laughs> We're going to use them all. <laughs> ah. Hello, Crafty Kitty. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I kind of like that. I'm going to put this in a bucket of water over here that I have to the side. And I'm going to grab another book page of some kind. I can find something. And I'm just going to clean off my dauber real fast. I'm just making little dots on a book page. Because you hate to waste the paint, you know? See, we're just kind of making... Making a mess! That's what's all, it's about having fun. And I'll just set that aside to dry. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, clean off the dauber the rest of the way. I'm just pouncing it into some water and wiping it off on a towel. And then I'm just going to put my little palette because I don't think, oh, I may want this. Okay, I'm going to set it aside. I may want the paint. All right, let's dry this real fast and then we will move on to some tattered angels which i trying to decide if i want to come back with a turquoise i've got a punked out blue i've got a blue here positive vibes what is this one i have frosted steam that was from last year's tattered angels from the uh, steampunk kit. This is a Christmas blue that I think might be water. Yeah, I think that's been watered down. I may have put some water in it. I'm just going to do this uh, kind of a turquoise. Curious. I think I need to get another bottle of Curious and put it in my studio. I think I'm out. Okay, I like that. Just adding a little bit of shimmer and that variation of that blue. Okay, spray this side a little bit. All right, so how many mediums have we used now? We've, we've used two. Make a note. All right, I need this to be dry. So I am going to set this aside for a moment. Where can I put it? Let's put it right here. And let's grab these things. All right, so here was my idea. I took a piece of cardstock and cut it to be, I think it was eight and a quarter by three and a quarter and I took a piece of 12 by 12 car uh, uh, scrapbook paper because it's thinner weight 
and I cut it to be three and a half inches by 12 inches, but I scored it at eight and a half inches so that when it is on the page, it could flip up. Okay. Then I took this piece of cardstock and made little flaps so that when I glued it down on top of the scrapbook paper, it then created a belly band through the middle. Okay. This is a scrap of taking a page and stamping on top of it and stamping on top of it and then putting some distress oxide on it and some acrylic paint and stamping on it. <laughs> it was just a scrap left over. And I thought we could put those layers all together. Now this pink card in the background is a little bit too plain for me. So how about if we stamp on that? to give it some more texture. We could sew on it. You know, I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch around this outside edge, okay? I was gonna stamp, but I think I want, to, I want the stitches. Oh, you know what? I forgot to go to the sewing cam. <laughs> I just got started stitching and I had to switch the camera. <laughs> I'm just in it, y'all. I'm just in it. I'm in the zone. I'm doing what I love. All right, so I stitched around that. <laughs> Droop. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, now let's look at this. All right, the stitch is okay, but I think it still needs something else. And what do I have here? Let's get one of the textured edges, maybe. Or the, I don't know. Do I have that one here? Who didn't put the stamps back where they belong? Oh, that would be me. <laughs> um, what kind of texture could we put on there? Why not... Why not the lace? We won't see a lot of it, but it'll be just a little bit of texture. I think we could do it in black ink to make it stand out, possibly. All right, don't get wet. Don't do it. All right, so let me get a scrap of paper. And we're going to stamp around here. Soon as I find a block. All right, so I'm just going to ink this up. And we're going to stamp it. Just going all the way around the edge. won't see much of it but doesn't that just add a little bit better texture to that i like it all right let's put this together and then that way it will be put together when we're ready to swap our page and attach it All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all of these elements together. You don't ever put stuff back. I get sucked into the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Some things just disappear all the better. And I'm like, where the heck did that go? I did find some stuff the other day because of an order that was going out. It's like, oh my gosh, where did I put those? Because it was something I listed a while back and I've moved things and they were covered up by something else. And I was like, ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> All right. So do we want the flower going F flower down? Isn't that right? Isn't that what we want? I don't know. That's what we're doing. Y'all tell me. The way I chose is right or wrong. All right, so I'm just smoothing that out. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to glue this. I've already gone around the edges with Distress Inks, so I'm not doing that now. All right, then we're going to layer that on top. Like it? Creative people, yeah. Well, that's how you get so creative, because you're like, okay, how can I use this? <sighs> Uh-oh, we got flashing screens. All right, we're going to put that on top. All right, so my idea is that I would glue this down to the page. So we're going to end up with this little area here. What would we want to put on there? So what if, oh, I like that. We decorate that. I've got a little piece of, this is a blue paper. I don't know, I kind of like maybe doing a little collage on top of that. Because basically we don't have to know that that is a tab. We can cover it up completely. I'm kind of liking this idea because this is what it'll look like. I think this might be dry enough. On that purple. Do we want to do something like that? I think we want it smaller, but we can't do it much smaller. Oh yeah, we can because we can cut this off. I can cut that shorter and just make it be the upper portion and that's just a little frame. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to trim this piece so it's not as long. And then I don't have to worry about, okay, so this is a, you know how much is on my page so if I cut this down to even just one inch should be enough right yeah because the other is going to cover it up so I want to cut this to be let's see is that big enough this way with just a little purple around it is that wide enough yeah. Or do we want a bigger purple? I think we want a bigger purple. So I'm telling you that I didn't have this completely planned out. I was just trying to figure out just an idea. How would this work? So this is a disjointed tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm planning this all out. All right. So in theory, if this was up here and that was like this, we would have this element that would flip up and we would have a decoration here and then you have journaling space. Okay. So I think this is pretty much dry, probably enough that I can cut it, score it and get it ready for my journal page foundation. So I'm going to flip out the little arm here and I want this side to be my, I don't want to do this. Okay. Yeah. Not a flip out page. So I'm putting it in my paper trimmer and 
going to the five and a half inch mark and the paper is still really damp so I'm just going to be real light and make a little score mark if I make it too deep because it's damp it will tear so I'm going to fold this and dry it a little bit with my heat tool okay where'd I go I lost my score mark yeah all right so let's dry this real fast a little bit more you like it Sam okay good so I've just made my first side and this is the side where I'm going to attach this flip out okay so it's going to go here and I know it's not quite the same color scheme we're trying to go with a whole mixed media collage different color look all right so now that I've done that we're going to put this flip de do over here so I don't want this page folding in this way I think I want it to go that way so I'm just going to use the page half that's already been folded and just kind of line this up and crease it okay now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to go to my paper cutter again and put this at the eight and a half inch mark and I can do one of two things I could cut this portion completely off or I can fold it score it, and fold it up and it becomes an additional pocket so I'm just going to score this you can use a ruler you don't have to use a paper cutter to score I just like it because it seems to me that my page is a little bit straighter all right so do I want it that way no I think I want it this way All right, so we're going to fold this back up. Now, so now, if you see here, this front has a little pocket that we can make. It's a small one, but it's a pocket. And then we're going to put this flip out here, okay? Then we're going to put our belly band combo thingy bopper over here. And then we have this two areas to decorate and this area. Okay. So let's get started. I think what I want to do now is glue and do some distress ink really fast since this was all scratch. Uh oh, what'd I do now? The squirrels. Oh, poke, poke, nudge, nudge. I see it now. Okay. Y'all get in on the raffle. Put some distress inks here. I don't always put distress inks all the way around. I just thought today that might be what I want to use. And I think I also want to put a piece of paper behind here for strength. Oh, I got an idea. Let's get out the Lace Duo again. And let's stamp that. I wonder if I've got enough. One, two, I think we might have enough. Okay, let's stamp it on here. 
You're what? What am I going to do? I'm going to stamp the Lace Duo. And we're going to make this a pocket area a little bit taller. What did I do with the block earlier? I didn't put it back. That's for sure. All right, I think I'm done with the paint, so put that away. Oh, I found it. All right, so do I want to stamp that in Mermaid Lagoon? Yes, because it'll be bright. <laughs> I know, Rhonda, Robin. Giovanna, Sam, Margie. I have some unique tastes and colors. All right, so I'm going to kind of go to as far edge as I can get. And I'm going to piece it together. So I'll just stamp again. All right, we're going to do the raffle. Y'all in on the raffle? And I'm going to stamp it up here. All right, so we're going to fussy cut this out. Oops, put that there. And then we're going to attach that to our book page that we painted. I'm just cleaning my stamp with some thieves cleaner. Wiping it off on a towel. All right. Y'all ready for this raffle? All right. And I've got these two things. Okay. All righty. So let's pick a winner. All right. The first winner, and I'm not going to necessarily um, let y'all choose because that takes too long. So I'm just going to send you one of these random cards. <laughs> so the first winner is of the autumn pop-up cards. Did y'all get in on the raffle? It's for a pop-up card. I'm giving you just a little bit longer to get in. This was my prototype. This is the one that prompted me to ask Norella to make a kit. I had to show her how it went together. All right. Y'all ready? Type raffle. Yes, Linda is special. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> You, you like a lot of color, but I always seem to use browns because they are sitting there. See? Get them out, Margie. All right. Is so everybody in the raffle? Exactly. <laughs> like, I want that one. All right. Love the squirrel. And the squirrel cute. I think Norella did that on purpose because, you know, squirrel. <laughs> Chris, it's awesome fall. And we see a lot of the squirrels. I did a tutorial on this one. All right. So let's pick the winner. The first winner is Janice Brammer. You're getting one of these autumn pop-up cards. All right. Make sure that Robin got that written down. Did you get it written down, Robin? Did you get it written down? <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Hi, Keisha. <laughs> I would not be forever. I love the fox. There you go, Barb. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah. All right. So the next winner is. Margie! Margie! You have won one of the pop-up journal cards. <laughs> Congratulations, Margie! The Luke fa Feline Family. Yay! Okay, so Robin got that. Alright, next winner! Woohoo! <laughs> 
Diane Dissenberger, congratulations. You are our third winter. Winner. Winter? Winner. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So, the next little giveaway, I don't know, envelope pockets. This, this was, I think I showed how to do this on one of my live streams. These are two security envelopes glued together. And then I went in and added some scraps of uh, papers all the way around. And it's ready for y'all to tuck into a journal or add some journal cards to it. So I thought I would pass these along. There's a couple of them here. Same concept, just different colors, okay? Pen never leaves Robin's hands. Exactly. Reset. So we're going to call these uh, envelope booklets. I'll help if I type correctly. All right. And open giveaway. Okay. You're very welcome. I... We'll be right back. <laughs> Everybody, stretch because I have to go to the restroom. <laughs> I made it back. <laughs> I had to go. I think I forgot right before the live stream because I was so excited about trying this little flippy up idea that I forgot to go. That's usually my pre show uh, <laughs> is to get my beverages and go to the restroom. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to fussy cut this out, and I need enough that it'll go all the way down, okay? So that's why I did two of them. I don't really care what the bottom looks like because I am going to glue it to the inside of the um, page here. So I'm just going to cut this off, cut this off. So I'm going to glue it in here so it kind of gives us a little bit more durability on our pocket, okay? That is all I'm doing. So we're going to kind of line these up and I'll glue these together as a strip. We'll add some Distress Ink. I don't need all of this, but I am going to trim the bottom up just a little bit. Okay. So basically I just made paper lace. <laughs> Can you see it? All right. So now I'm just going to add some distressed ink here. Okay, there will be two winners. All right, so go ahead. 
All right, so if we put that in here, okay, well, that's, that's coming together. This looks kind of plain, doesn't it? Like it needs something on top of it. We could do the, this is the stitches, but I think the iron works would look really good on there, especially since we're doing the flower on the other side. Yeah, let's do that. So take this away for a second. I'm going to turn it over so I can stamp along this edge all the way down. That was a cool group, Paper Lace. I, I don't think I know who they are. All right, so I'm just going to take this and stamp it across the page. I think I like it. Well, that one wasn't perfect, but so now that's what that looks like when you have that on here. And then let's add the paper lace behind it. And we've got a nice little pocket on this side. All right, let's glue that together. I'm just going to put glue right down this edge and I'm going to put glue down this edge two right there kind of eyeball this to see if I have it where I want it and then I'm just smoothing it out with my finger I like it. All right, let's trim this off. Okay. Now, this is going to be a pocket. I don't think, yeah, I don't have anything that I need to go all the way so that I don't need to uh, worry about how tight the pocket is. So I'm just going to put glue right here. I'll put just a little bit right there. And then I'm going to put some. And then right here. It's basically where the folds are and then the ends. And then just pressing it out. All right. I'm liking it. You liking it? All right, I like this. So I think we need some more patterning up here at the top. And again, I'm just trying to use different techniques to kind of add some texture and fun. You know, we've got flour here that we're going to put on the other side. So I think what I want to do is stamp some flowers. I have out... I have the Bella Rose. I think the Bella Rose would be a pretty pick for that. So let me get my acrylic block. And let's just kind of stamp this where it just kind of peeks out. I'm just kind of rotating the stamp around and then varying the height on the page just to kind of get a different look. Okay, I like that. I think on 
This side, I want to use a different one. I've got this Daisy stamp. I think it's called Daisy. I don't remember for sure. Let's just kind of... I'm just doing it really lightly, barely re-inking it. So there's just a little bit of a pattern. kind of decided to go all over <laughs> I went all over okay so I'm gonna glue this piece over here so to kind of get it to go with let's stamp on top of it with that same daisy stamp And basically, again, I just made a Franken page where I had a book page that I'd stamp, uh, glued together. And then I ended up gluing other little colored pieces of paper. Some of these were from stenciling. Some of them were from gel printing. I just kind of used a variety of pieces of paper that I had left over. Okay. So we're kind of we're kind of trying to blend this together a little bit and I think I want to glue this down so I think I'm done with the stamping portion I was trying to keep from adding too much bulk to it in the layers you know so let's glue this down I'm going to put glue right on this edge glue this shut and that will then hold this together I just remembered I need to do this flap. So I'm going to put some glue in here and then close this. So this is about a half an inch of a little piece and this is just under five inches now. So it doesn't take up too much in the center of your book. Now I could stitch this if I wanted to, it would end up putting stitches on both sides. That is something I could do, but I think I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then this guy is going to go over here. And I'll be able to put a journal card going this way. So let's glue this piece down. And we're going to put that right at the top. And then we've got this guy that's going to go in here. So I need to put some distress ink around the blue piece. Okay. Shasta Daisy. Yes, that's what it's called. Shasta Daisy. You like it, Giselle? Thank you. All right, so we added some distress inks there. So I'm going to layer these two pieces together. Woo! Throwing the glue around. And then that's going to go up here at the top. And I forgot to do it before I glued it. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. Um, so we're going to do it really fast now. I was going to stencil or something on this scrapbook paper because that's really bright white. 
So I'm just gonna lay a scrap of paper here. I've got one of the September Stencil Club. So we got a different pattern, same kit. I've got the purple. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do this purple. This is a Dusty Concord. And let's do Mermaid Lagoon. So that knocks that back just a little bit on the pattern. And I'm just going over the whole thing with the distress ink tool just a little bit it just it's not adding a lot of color but now it's not stark white see that all right so now i have all these things that i thought we would so we could do something with this in order to tie this page in. We may do a little scrap of that. We could stamp it, stamp the daisy on here and fussy cut it out. I think I'll do that. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if we like this look. Now, if we were to put that on the page here, let's do it one more time. So what if we were to take this guy and fussy cut out? Oh, so she did. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do have one, Dorlisa, on so she did. I do. All right, so I'm not going to go in and fussy cut all the way down and but just kind of loosely fussy cut this out. All right, what if we were to put that guy on our page? Kind of gives us another little of the purple from the other page. Good idea, Margie says. I don't know if that was when I, because I asked it once. So <laughs> sometimes I don't know if there's a lag, if y'all are still with me. Well, you could take the time to get in here and really work on getting this uh, fussy cut out perfectly. All right, so now I'm going to put some distress inks on there. Just started Norella's kit. Fill the sink with Dawn stuff and hot water. Oh, how funny. <laughs> At least put your dishes in the soapy water. I've had guests that would leave their dishes all over my house. I'm like, seriously, come on now. All right, so I'm just going to go over the image just a little bit. I think I may color it. All right, so let, if we glue that down there... So even though I'm using, you know, a leftover project from something else, we're still getting a cool effect. And I think I want to colorize that. So what if I think I need some new water? So let's dump this out. All 
All right, so I got some paint brushes. Got my water jug. So I'm going to get. Um, what do I want to use? Well, I'll just use a piece of paper. Oh, I guess I need to get some more paper in here. I've got the Distress Oxide, the yellow. I'm just mushing it onto my piece of paper here. Kind of doing it a mixed media style so it's not perfect. Okay, so I just got a little bit of yellow paint on there. And then I think what I want to do is I've got a ivory paint. Let me shake it. Let's see if I like this look. So I'm just going to kind of dry brush. Yeah, I think I like that. Just, just slightly brushing. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Let's dry it. Mm. Didn't get into trouble while she was here. This Hercules messing up the house. No, it wasn't that guest. No, it wasn't that guest. I've had other guests in the past. Not a recent guest. I like it. It just kind of gives it a, just a little bit of color. It's faded. All right, let's put that on this side. I already had a couple of little cards made, so I just thought, why not do something like that there? I've got a oatmeal box that I cut, so why don't we uh, decorate that? I also have a page that I made earlier, so I was just going to put, yeah, okay, I like that. And so if I put this one on top, what color? I've got this pale blue. So this is a book page that I scraped acrylic paint on. And then I used some Tattered Angels and just sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. And I think what I want to do is maybe um, we can stamp on top of that and make a journal card. So let's do that. So set this over here a second. All right, how are we doing? Oh, it's 5.30. I'm going to have to hurry. I'm just lollygagging along here, just making stuff. All right, so I'm just going to lightly stamp around the edge. And it kind of just adds a little pattern. And I think I'll just glue this and then cut it out. That way it's the right size. So I'm just kind of centering it. Oh, 
And then just, uh, I'll take my paper cutter and just cut it real fast. Real maple syrup? Oh my goodness. I was just saying the other day to Henry, I said, we need to have pancakes or French toast for bread for dinner. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it cut. All right, let's do this. I'm just trimming off the excess. All right, so we just trim that out. Come on now, cooperate. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's add some distress inks. I like it. Isn't that kind of pretty, just the way that it is? I like it. Okay, but, but, what do we want to add? Do we want to add a little butterfly? That's kind of pretty. I've got a little flower. No, I don't think that goes. There's a bigger flower. No, the bo both together is not good. They don't go together, man. Jeez. Don't go together. I was trying to see if I found a little word or dreamer. How about if we did that? You could even square it up or we could put it out to the side. I think like that. I don't know which kit this is from. <laughs> Just buy them all from Norella. <laughs> this is the uh, white glider rubber stamp that I colored with the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist after I embossed it in gold embossing powder. Okay. Lemonade pancakes? Oh, wow. Thank you, Robin. All right, so then we'll put Dreamer out here to the side. So a book page that was painted with ivory paint and then I sprayed Tattered Angels on it and kind of let it pool and build up into layers and then I rubber stamped around it. Like it? All right, so that's going to go. Let's see if it fits in my pocket. Oh, it'll fit right here. I was going to put it in that other pocket, but I changed my mind. I think I like that. Yes, I like it because then it, it brings the color to this side. Okay, so we need to put something here. And then remember this flips up so we don't need anything else here. I don't know that we need another pocket because we still have these two here. We just need to decide decoration purposes what do we want to put on this side? Now remember, this is going to be a book page, so let me find a another page to put beside it. So if you make this your center, then you will see all of this. I think this is going to be our center. Yep. So with that being said, do we want a to leave this pretty much the way it is? And only maybe add, say, um, just a little saying or something. Let's see. Charming. Effervescent. I don't think rose water fits. It's not, this is our vintage. Vintage. Um, what do we got here? Adorable prayer. I'm just kind of digging through. I've got a little bin. 
with some things in it, the fussy cut elements. And again, this is kind of what I do. I just kind of look at what do I have? Oh, what did I see recently? See if there's something there. That's kind of pretty. Maybe that would be what we need because then it ties the color here and it's not taking up a lot there. And maybe one more thingy. I've got a little piece of this teal left over. Yeah, what about that? So you just kind of have to talk it out. <laughs> Uh, so let's put some distress inks on here and on here. And I'm just going to leave it the way that it is, I think. Let's look. I could put some texture on it. What if we were to stamp it with the stitches? And then that way, when we put the postage stamp down, we put it over just a smidge so you see the stitches and then this guy. Yeah. Okay. Why am I? Yeah, I'm just chatting away to myself. <laughs> uh. I'm looking for your opinion. All right, so this is going to go here. I kind of made sure it went over that little space. And then we're going to put the postage stamp. <laughs> well, and I'm only talking it out for your benefit. Now, when I'm doing this without the camera on, I don't talk it out. I just start picking stuff up. It worked. See? The stitches stamped to see. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, you thought it said milk? <laughs> it says air mail. <laughs> okay, I like that. It just kind of gives us a nice little spot that we can decorate even further if you want. Okay? And then we've got this area. And I didn't even really show you this, so I had a journal card last, left, left over from another project, and I had this page. It's painted with acrylic paint, and then use the dauber to go through the stencil to make that stencil pattern. This is one of Norella's uh, faux postage. And then I don't remember which kit this is from, but maybe one fine day. And then I stamped the floral uh, filigree. I think that's right. And then one of the butterfly beauties, just for the contrast of having that different paper in there. And then that goes in our belly band right there. Okay. And then we flip this page over. And even though I put a card here, let's start back. So I've got a card for in here, but I haven't added any decorations on the pages. So I have, I have this green. What if we stamp a saying on there? I've got nature is, I think that's what we we'll use. So different than the flower. Now I'm just going to stamp the saying. So we're going to put it right here in the corner. Nature is what you see plus what you think of it. So we're just going to kind of cut this out. And let's just do some distress ink on the edges. All right, so we could put that down on our page. I think it needs something else. How about, 
All right, so I've got a Sharpie pen and I've got a ruler. Let me get my clear ruler because I like it better. And I'm going to line this up with the edge. So this is a way you can add without adding another layer of paper. You give it a look as if you have layered black right behind. Now, I, I don't know if Sharpie affordably has a brown that you can get, but you could, I guess, in theory. There's other markers you can use. You don't have to use Sharpie. I just like Sharpie because it's so dark and it will go over a painted surface. So now, what does that look like now? Doesn't that look so much better with that frame around there? I'm using the clear ruler. <laughs> All right, quit making fun of me now. I do. It's one of my favorites, a Judikins ruler. I've had it, I don't know, probably 20 years. All right, let's put that right here. You like that? Because and then I just kind of nicer there. All right, so then we have this journal card that's going in here. So we're getting a variety of looks. I didn't put any sayings on this side or here, but I think it doesn't need it. I think we can leave it without the saying because we do have sayings in other areas. I could do the word journal. Uh, in fact, I'm going to. I've got a scrap here. So let's see if that will fit. And it will. It will fit. So we're going to stamp the word journal on here. Yeah. I don't think I need it twice. I don't know. Let's see how it looks. Okay. That's from the Journal Quartet. Robin's like, man, Linda, you didn't say you were going to use all these stamps in the information. <laughs> well, I don't always know what I'm going to use on these unless it's a for Christmas or something. I like that. And then it ties in where we use the craft paint paper over here. So I think I like that. Your longest ruler is 24. That's a long ruler. We call a, we have what we call yard stick. So ours are 36 inches. Sometimes a little bit longer. Depends on who makes them. All right. And then I think I'll put journal over here too. We could have stitched around it before I put it down, but we're getting a little late in the program here. Was I supposed to do the raffle? Okay. I think it's about time. All right. So we're going to decorate these little pieces right here. So here's what we're going to do. I think it's time for the do. Yeah, this is a very detailed page. It is. That's why I wanted to do this because <clears throat> I can show you very, very simple pages, which I've done a lot of my streams, but this shows how much more detail you can put into your page with mixed media. I like the variations of color. Okay, let's, put, let's decorate this. All right, so we need to do... Um, I think we need to do the raffle and then we're going to have the raffle for the free journal that Barb Dingwell gave back to me in the sense she won and she said, go ahead and give it away. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Raffle time. Uh, so the next raffle is going to be for this journal. So I'm going to get it out. 
It says journal. This is a journal I made during a live stream. And Barb, like I said, won. And she felt bad because she had won recently already. And she said, no, that's not fair. And so I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll give it away. So I'm going to call for the winners of these two little guys here. And then I'll flip through this journal so you can see what you're going to win. And y'all can enter the last raffle. I understand, Barb. You were being very kind because she had won and she wanted to share. Yes, Julie, that's three feet long. You got it. All right, so is everybody in the raffle for these two goodies? And then I'll show y'all this journal. And we'll do this two pages and uh, put the journal together, I think. Yeah. I'm going to use that to make a. Uh, journal card all right the first winner oh wait I'm still oh thank you Margie for your donation thank you thank you thank you thank you Janice Valerie Lou Lori Constance or Connie Laura Barb uh, Rhonda Bennett, Kathy, Linda, Robin, Nadine, Karen, Diane, and of course, Margie again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so sweet. Thank you. <clears throat> <coughs> All right. I need... All right, making sure everybody's in the raffle. I think they are now. So, the first winner of the little envelope doohickeys, <laughs> envelope booklets, is Sandra Louise at Mama's Two Place. How funny. <laughs> All right, Sandra, you're getting one of these little um, pocket envelopes. And the next winner is... Karen Owens. Karen, you're getting the other one, all right? So I'll just pick and send those to y'all. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to reset. Free for all one junk journal give away. All right, so this is a free-for-all, one-junk journal giveaway. That means everybody that's here, whether you've donated or not, are eligible to win this journal. It's a journal I made a couple of weeks ago. And Barb said to pass it along. So that's what I'm doing. Well, she didn't say that exact words. I'm just paraphrasing. It's got a variety. It's a very eclectic journal. Okay. So that's going to be the journal that's going right now. So y'all enter the raffle. It's your opportunity to win journal by Linda Israel. All right. So we've got this long skinny. I've got this guy. So I've got a piece of paper that's cardstock that's been printed with a gel print. That's eight and a half by seven. So if I did a, let's do a four and three quarters inch. No, I want to do, I want to do more, less. Okay. So my little flippy out here is not quite three and a half inches. So I'm going to go to three and a quarter and I'm making, if, if I did it right, I may need to trim it. Okay. It's not needs to be three inches <clears throat> three inches so that kind of goes what do you think and I was thinking about using this over here but I think it's too much to put these two together so what if we made a journal card that featured that color I like that. I've got another of the craft. I 
can make it a tall because I, if I, I don't want it the whole width so let's make it shorter or narrower so let's see this is roughly three inches so if I went three and a half inches or if I go three and a three quarters let's do three and three quarters so what if we put that decorated up in here maybe we'll we'll stitch around it real fast okay because we haven't really used stitches but right here so maybe we can use stitches one more time right here so let's put some distress inks around this piece it has a little bit already because I had planned to use it for another project congratulations all right y'all enter the raffle for this journal that I will be giving away if you want a chance to win the journal that will include this journal page make a donation of any dollar amount and you could win this journal after we do the current raffle all right, I'm going to put that in here. So what could go in the center here? Oh, you know what? <clears throat> How about this guy? I like that. And then I've got in a garden of dreams, we could stamp that on here yep 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 ideas 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 i'm getting ideas all right so we're going to stamp this guy up here so in a garden of dreams yes i'm going to go ahead and glue this down because i'm only going to do the one stamp then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch around the edge so that'll give us a nice edge around here stamp that in the middle so this is Queen Anne's lace Queen Anne's lace okay this is gonna go here I like it all right and then I've got this piece I'm gonna trim it out I might be lucky I am very lucky. Look at there. I can mat it with this piece of scrap of card stock from the card. I'm going to put that on here. So let's add some distress inks. All right, I'm in the zone now, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put that on here. I'm trying to decide, do I want to do the black lines around the edge or stitch it? I'm going to do the black lines. So we're just gonna get the ruler back out. Ooh. And we're just gonna go right on the edges. I, I kind of I just like this look for some reason and I used to do it all the time in my card making because it's a cheap way to border your cards your elements your sentiments
Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the sewing machine. We'll glue this together. Sewing cam, sewing cam. Bah, here we go, here we go. All right, switch the cameras, Linda, when you go. <laughs> All right, we're just going to go over here and we'll do a zigzag stitch right around this outside edge of the painted paper. It may have been a gel print. It's got, it feels like it may have been when I was cleaning up my gel plate. There we go. <clears throat> you like it? So we'll put this piece right here. So now we have a journal card that we can write on add into our journal. I think I need a little something up here. So how about maybe something like that. And because it's going to be part of this area, maybe I can get away with putting a sentiment over here. Harmony. <laughs> or maybe even just a label. I think that looks kind of cute. All right, let's do that. Love the queen. Isn't that pretty? I just love how that turns out. And that was a gel print where I was cleaning off my gel plate. So there's some crusty bits in the background there. Glue down, glue down. Must be charming. Charming. All right, we're moving with speed now. All right, we got that done. This is going to go in here. This is going to go here. So I need to apply some distress inks and then decide what do we want to add to this digital scan of a gel print. I saw, oh, I have this little, oh, that would be kind of cute. All right, now cooperate. All right, I like that. I think I like the little blue birds on there. So let's glue those down. It doesn't take much sometimes just to add just a little embellishment. This is another one of the faux postage pork chops. I didn't put anything on the pocket down below. I don't know. Do we want to? <clears throat> I've got a faux postage I could put there. Maybe I'll put it on this side because we've got nature is up there. Let's do that. We'll just glue that one down. So it kind of breaks up all this patterning a little bit. Okay, that's got, we use that same flower. So what if I put a little one down here? Kind of like that, just the little pattern. All right, we don't need 
anything in here. This looks good. All right, so we still have this flap. So what do we want to put on that? I have a big square. And I've got this little piece of a maybe just for color and because we've used it in other areas but I do have a little piece how about this what would I use where's my scissors man yeah let's go right there what if I were to put a little piece of fabric yeah <clears throat> and let's use, I'm just going to get some Distress Oxide. How's that? Just adding color really fast. So I'm going to glue this down. Didn't put anything on here. Got that little butterfly. I got bloom. Let's do that. Let's do it. Lots of details, I think, right in the middle. Don't mind y'all. <laughs> Sucked into the abyss. <laughs> I found them. All right. Woo! We're going to need those scissors. Let's clear back a little bit of my desk. All right, so there's our very complicated journal page. Ah, I got hair in my mouth. It's bugging me. All right, so we'd come to this page first. This would be in the pocket. And then we flip it over. And these are in here. And those were just painted with Tattered Angel, stamped and then painted on some ivory cardstock. And we flip this over, and we've got some writing space. Or put your photos. And then we've got a journal card in the belly band. So this goes in here. And then this flips up like that. Okay. Then we go on this side. We just add a piece of fabric. We've got this little flip out. Which has a little tag pocket. Another little journal card. Like it? <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, just ink up the, it dresses it up. It just kind of adds just a little bit to it. All right, so here is the plan for the pages. I haven't put anything on the cover. This is the cover so far. So I think what I want to do is show you the journal pages, and then we can decide what we want to put on the cover and we can kind of dig through all my things so this was the page i made live today this is a page that i made a couple of days ago so i did the same concept where i took a big piece of paper glued them the two journal pages and glued them together and then painted the whole thing added some stenciling and then this was some uh, book pages that I painted and then did some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist to kind of give it that purple marbled look. I stamped the, uh, what is this, 
adornment. I think it's adornment on top of there. Um, this one, I just used one of the Bombay Company little images, the little stitches down here. I didn't put anything up there. I could. Let's see. Let's see what we have. I've got this little rose. It kind of sticks out, though, with the rest. How about that? This is a, I think this is called a letter. It's just a, a little handwritten letter that's turned into a rubber stamp. I just want to glue that up here. So we have a couple of flip out pages. This was some scrapbook paper that was white and embossed or debossed. I don't remember if it's embossed or debossed. And the white areas took the distress oxide ink. So I just went over it with the distress oxide ink and then took a paper towel and wiped it off. And then it just stayed on the patterned area. And then I used one of the uh, Butterfly Beauties cube. And this was just a scrap of mixed media paper that I stamped the postal cute post postmark collage i think that's right the eyes have seen a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination awake that's leonardo da vinci only good girls keep diaries bad girls don't have time <laughs> um today is that day it, today is that tomorrow you dreamt about make it a yesterday worth remembering a single rose can be my garden, a single friend, my world. So that's one of the pages. This is one I made a while back and I just decided to throw it in because it had the pink, had the flowers. We had the same colors of blues. This was a, another one of my mixed media master board pages and I happen to have one left over. This one, I took two book pages and glued them together, much like I did for the page that we did mixed media today. And I then sprayed it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in different colors until it was nice and dark. And then I went back over it with Distress Oxide in, uh, what is that one? A Blueprint Sketch on top. And that's how I got my pattern. Here is some book music or songbooks that I sprayed with some Tattered Angels, and then I have a gel print on top. I don't know, just bright, bright colors. I know, it's crazy. A journal card that I made, just using an image out of a gardening book, and then one of Norella's uh, sayings. Uh, here's where I used a gel print that was stamped, and then I stamped uh, more of the little flowers had the words and the butterfly there. That's from one of Norella's kits. I made little pockets on top of a gel print. More of the images from the gardening book. This was something that somebody sent to me. It's like a Project Life card. And then I just had these little extras that I thought, well, I'll just stick those in the pocket. Not every page has to have a handmade card. Okay. Um, this one was using, remember I do the strips for my gel prints? These were all the lined up strips. And then here's a journal card I made that has a pocket that has a little journal card, more of the fabric. I was trying to use more of that fabric in places. And then there's a piece of fabric here. And that's this little envelope. And then I made a little journal card. It was a scrap. So I just stamped around the edge and used one of Norella's images so we get that variety. And I did that because I wanted these pieces and a little journal card on the back so that when I put it in the pocket, they didn't get lost. And then the inside. Coloring book page. And then I just added the word journal. And this was onion skin paper that I sprayed with Tattered Angels. I used the September Stencil Club. This is another one of the images. And then I used the white glider, but I used it in a gray ink. So it's just subtle on the page. And it has that nice crinkly sound. This is from the Artful Kit. And this is from the um, gel print journal line pages. And then I overstamped it 
and collaged on it like we did some of the other pages. So it would all blend together. Okay. So we did all of that and I don't have much on the front here, but I do have some elements that we could add. I know I have some butterflies. This is kind of, I don't know if we want to go really collagey or if we want to go a little bit more organized. We've got some birds. There's some butterfly stuff. Let's see what's in here. Um, maybe something like that. Got the journal. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that we're just like, oh, let's use that. I guess it doesn't have to be all butterflies, right? What if we have one more thing? We need something right there. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, what if we did something like that? <laughs> we need to frame that one. Okay, let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's go over here. I know I'm taking longer than I normally do. I'm hurrying. I got inspired. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, look what I found. It says flutter. Okay. I think we need to frame that. Is that big enough? No. Is this one? I think we could do that. Y'all stop talking! <laughs> Got distracted watching Disney. Ha oh my goodness! Disney Haunted Mansion. Alright, so I think two. Alright. So what if we did that? How's that? Just watching. Is that it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to glue this down really fast after I do some distressing on it. This will be our cover. I'll buy in the journal. We'll do the giveaway for the free journal. If you want a chance to win the journal that I just made, make a donation of any dollar amount as I throw things around. And then enter the raffle here in just a moment. All right, what if we put this guy right here in the corner? Nodding off. <laughs> Come on, stick with me. I'm almost done. Don't give up yet. Okay, I'll put this right here. Let's put the little butterfly on here. All right, and then let's put this guy down here. I think I need to put distress inks on this piece. Okay. I think flutter. Getting ready to go. All right, I 
think I like this. A Spanish language toast in Argentina. <laughs> okay. You like? All right, let's put this together. That's my journal cover. So, got printed papers. All right, so this one's gonna be my dead center. So I'm putting it way over here out of the way. <clears throat> Crinkly papers. Kind of breaking these up. Okay, yeah. All right. So do I want to open with this because it's smoother? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we're going to open with this guy. Then we'll have a crinkly paper. Crinkly paper. Pocket page. Mixed media page. Crinkly paper. Got lots of butterflies in this one. I don't know why. I just kept gravitating towards the butterflies. Probably because I had so many of them already cut out. It's going to be fluffy. All right. We need to... Uh, anything with birds? Yes, listen to the crinkle. All right, so the winner we're going to call of the um, journal, the freebie giveaway. And that is for this journal right here. How many, how much, do, what's our donations today? This is the journal that we're giving away right now. Oh yeah, I forgot this has an over the page paper clip on it. All right, so this journal that says journal. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. All right, let's do the giveaway. So the winner of the freebie free for all journal is, I think almost everybody, I have your mailing address. All right, the winner is Diane Ditzenberger. Congratulations, Diane. You have won the free-for-all journal. All right, so we're going to reset. And I didn't say this earlier, but I have another journal that I made during one of the live streams. I had an extra that I made. And then this is a journal that I made in a mixed media Mandela uh, last week. Is that right? Week before last? It's I've got a recorded, the gel printed cover week before last. So that's the other journal that I have here. And then of course the journal that I made today. So depending on what Robin says, we'll determine how many journals we're giving away. So this is going to be for the donators only. So that means those of you that donated today, you can have a chance to win one of these three journals and I'll read off those who have donated. Oh, you won the journal, the giveaway journal, the freebie, the freebie journal, the free for all. All right. So these people donated today and that is Margie and Janice and Valerie, Lou, Lori Merchant and Connie or Constance, Laura Johnson, Barb Dingwell, Rhonda Bennett, Kathy Lake, Linda Gray, Robin Finnessy, Nadine Wheeler, Karen Owens, Diane Ditzenberger, and Margie or Fluke Feline Family. Two journal raffles. Okay, thank you so much, Robin. <laughs> You're lost your life. All right, let's see. 
and let's go giveaway and open giveaway. So we're going to give away two journals today. I'll flip through this as it's finished and then we will give them away. Okay. All right. So I'm just making sure that all my pages are in here. I'm pretty confident that I like the order that I chose. This is going to be one fluffy journal. So I'm taking my big old paper clip and paper clipping it shut. So that I can mark the holes in the middle. Make sure I got it right side up. Because that's very annoying to put your journal together wrong side up. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to poke holes during the pamphlet stitch. Like so. Okay, put my tools back in the journal tools. I need three times the height of my journal. I want to keep this journal. I like how it turned out. I kept playing around with stuff, trying to figure out what can I show y'all. I want something different. It's always the same. <laughs> so, was that different? Did y'all learn anything new? Bye, Dorlisa. Thanks for being here today. Okay. Doing a pamphlet stitch. All right. Y'all ready for the week? Thank you so much, Diane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, and I hope I showed you just a variety of ways that, you know, book pages can be altered. Fabric can be altered in your junk journals. All right, so I'm going to slip that under here. Pull in opposite directions. It's tight. Take the paper clips off gently. Okay. Oh, I boogered it up a little bit when I put my paper clip on. All right, I'll have to fix that. Blue. I think we need a little piece of ribbon. To go around the outside to keep it closed. Look at that. It's so floppy. Oh, I've got a purple piece. Maybe this is long enough. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right. If you want a chance to win this journal... Or one of the other two journals. Donate and get in on the raffle right now. Where's my pen? I'll sign it up here. That way, if you want to put a pocket down here and you still want to see my signature. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's the cover. We kind of did a little collage thing. That was a gel print on fabric, much like I showed in a tutorial a week ago. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's got to be hand made. It's, that's the only way we know. All right. So this is using from the Artful Kit and then using the gel print journal pages, the onion skin paper. One of my scrapbook pages turned into a journal page and then using some embossing powder and stamping to create some journal cards. 
This was stamped uh, all over, and then we used the large polka dot stencil, and that was the beach rose medium. That was the diamond with flare. I think that's right. And then this was the floral varnish, the scrapbook paper cardstock made into a journal card, five by seven journal card. This is a gel print that I made a while back and that was using the bottom of a spool in that background. <coughs> Ready for Christmas crafting? Well, I'll be doing the Christmas journal. Yeah, you love the gel print on fabric, Lou. Next week, we will be doing the a Christmas dream. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for supporting me. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Here's the first little flippy out. Oh, uh, thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. And then this little pocket where I used um, a gel print and adhered it onto a piece of mixed media. This was some, some watercolor paper that I smushed different ink pads on and it bled through to the back. So I just stuck them to the side and decided to add this little guy and then just kind of distress the ink uh, around the edges there and stitched it. So then I made this little envelope. It's a little same tutorial that I've got for the envelope out of a gel print. I thought, well, that just kind of goes with the whole theme. This was a piece of coffee dye paper that Beverly gave me. And I just love those large writing in the background. And this is the garden, Bella garden rose. Or I know it's another rose if you do rose. Large polka dots again. I kept using the butterflies. So we got variety throughout the whole journal. I love the way that we just blended those together by putting the painted flower on top. And this, of course, is a journal card here. And if, if you don't want the journal card there, you don't have to have it. But then you've got this flip up. You could put a different journal card there. I just like the fullness it gives it. And then this flips out this way. You like it? I'm assuming the first winner will want this journal. <laughs> Love all the blues in this. Yeah, there was a lot of blue, wasn't there? <clears throat> I was just trying to use up the stuff I had and see if I could get a variety going. All right. And then we have these two journals and I'll flip through those, but we're going to pick the first winner. That's your color palette. And then you can tell me uh, which journal you want. And then I'll pick the second winner and you can tell me which journal you want. And then we'll be done. Okay, so the first winner, you can choose the one we made today, the one that says journal that I made a couple weeks ago, or the gel print journal cover that I made in a tutorial uh, last week, I believe it was. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you all for being here. All right, so let's pick the winner of the first journal. Make sure Nadine, Laura, Lori, Connie, Linda, Lou, Kathy, Karen, Margie, and see, Giselle, you were, did you donate through a different name? Are you Valerie? Giselle, I didn't see you donate. Okay, giveaway. Um, Rhonda Bennett, Janice Brammer, Diane Ditzenberg, Barb Dingwell, Robin, Jennifer. So, who did I say? Giselle. Giselle, you did not donate, so you're not eligible to win, okay? Uh-oh. Did we get him out? No trolling here. I don't even see it, so. What now? Our vintage? 
You love this. Yes. I always have fun. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> love the blues. I love all the butterflies. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> all right. So the first winner is Laura Johnson. Laura, you're the first winner. I'm guessing you probably want the one for today, but just in case I am wrong, you can let me know which one you would rather have. And I'm just kind of flipping through. This is the one from a week ago during the live. I made pages like this. And then this was the gel print. Oh, the one from the day. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to pick the second winner. And you can tell me which one you want. Do you want the green one? Or do you want the one that says journal? So the next winner is Kathy Lake. Kathy Lake, congratulations. Congratulations, Kathy. Woohoo! So which journal would you like? Do you want the one with the Mandela's? kind of boho mandela or do you want the journal with the flowers and the butterflies the birds and the bees <laughs> i don't know if there's bees in this but i know there's butterflies and birds okay pick a journal you're very welcome laura thank you to everyone for being here thank you to the winners congratulations if uh, you haven't already contacted i got that upside down i just noticed it uh with your mailing address if i don't have it make sure i do but i think everybody that won today i have your mailing address all right okay so we're calling a uh, today's journal whoops that's wrong today's journal is the butterfly journal we're gonna call that butterfly because it says flutter or the green gel print okay she wants the green gel print all right so the green gel print journal all right i still have a journal left yay so we got the butterfly journal green gel print journal feel better barb all right, I'm going to get off here. Henry's probably waiting. You're very welcome. <laughs> He's like, hurry up. Get off there. Butterfly journal. Flutter. See, it says flutter. Butterfly journal. It's so fluffy. All right. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to get off here and go eat some dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> We've only been on here for almost three hours. <laughs> Love you too, Ashley. Have a good dinner if you haven't already. Thank you, Robin. You're very welcome, Kathy. Thank you all so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Bye, Julie. Have a good day. Thank you, Margie. I'm so glad I got to be seen. <laughs> Y'all go forth and create. Do something fun and creative. And hopefully I gave you lots of ideas to give a go, okay? Yes, I think I did. I haven't signed this one yet, I think. Yeah, I haven't signed that one. But I did sign the other one. Oh, I'm off camera. All right, I did sign it. It's signed. Oh, I got to put the date. 2020. That one's signed. All righty. Hugs back, everybody. Y'all have a great night. We'll see you Thursday. I'll be working on the tutorial for that. I'm a little behind. I was going to try to get that done today, but I was too busy getting all this other stuff ready for y'all. All right. Thank you for being here. Have a fabulous day. See you Thursday at the live premiere of my recorded uh, tutorial. Y'all take care. Bye everybody.